<laughs> Spirit is like, just forget about all of that. This looks good. This looks really, oh, an ace of swords, Capricorn. You, you take off last week of June, you do something, you make a plan. And Queen of Swords in reverse, you might not be feeling like you're as financially stable. Do you have somebody coming in here, final week of June, a lot of you. And he says, Virgo, you're ready. You're ready for it. Hello, my earth signs. Okay, let's get started. Who do we want to start with? Capricorn. Hello, Capricorn. Oh, you got the tree of life. Okay, so this is going to be a general reading for all my earth signs. We're going to start with Capricorn, then we'll move on. And this is for the last week of June. Okay, June 2021, the last week of June. And you guys got the tree of life from the Jewish and Christian Kabbalah. Three of Cups, Capricorn, the last week of June. Let's see the final card, I'm getting excited. Ooh, this looks good. This looks really, oh, an ace of swords, Capricorn. You, you take off last week of June, you do something, you make a plan to go somewhere, okay? You make a plan to go on a trip, you, you, you buy the tickets okay you you have something really really exciting coming i i'm talking so fast i'm so excited but that ace of swords you're definitely taking flight okay you're definitely going somewhere new somewhere brand new a whole new experience and with the tree of life there okay the tree of life uh in the kabbalah symbolizes these nodes all represent different stages of our lives and we can't move forward to different parts of the tree unless we evolve spiritually unless we change our consciousness our awareness so when we move from one node to the next it's because we're ready for this new chapter in our life we're ready for this new step that we have to take because our consciousness okay with that ace of swords our consciousness our mind has ascended it, it's at a higher uh, capacity okay it's basically newer software right if you think about a computer it's new software, it's the new iOS, right? Your mind has upgraded. So now you're ready for the next step. You're ready for the next uh, chapter. You're ready for the new gifts that universe wants to give you, okay? With that three of cups, a lot of celebration, okay? A lot of fun. With that eight of cups, you are, you're walking upwards. You're not looking back, Capricorn. You're not looking back, okay? You're walking towards your goals, your dream. You know, you're, you're going to get your money. You're really going to, this this week, this last week of June is the week where everything changes. It creates a snowball effect. Really, really great. Yeah, three of wands. A lot of opportunity, a lot of different doorways. Okay, eight of wands in reverse. So you were a little slow, things were moving a little slow. I do remember your readings. Maybe you did get the eight of wands. Um, either reverse or upright, either way, I do feel like I said this before in your previous readings, Capricorn, you felt that things were moving a little too slow for you. And there was that whole drama with the black magic and people doing witchcraft um, to slow you down, but this is done, this is over, okay? There's celebration here, three of wands. I feel like you have so much, so much opportunity. Okay, I have to pull that out. The Wheel of Fortune was at the bottom when I saw that. Yeah, things are looking good for you. The moon, again, more more travel, traveling somewhere. And I think you choose to stay, Capricorn. You choose to stay. Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords. Yeah, you, you really are looking after yourself here, Capricorn. You really are. You're putting yourself first. You're putting yourself first. You're, you're not holding back for anybody. You're, you're really not. And you're going to go somewhere else. You're going to take a nice getaway trip, nice vacation. You're in this energy of you deserving it. Okay. You're going to, you're going to book the tickets last week of June. You're going to book the tickets. It's going to be a spontaneous thing. And it's really out of your element because you are an earth sign and you earth signs do really like to stay rooted and you do like to plan things out. Um, but it's sort of spontaneous and exciting for you. And you're, you're ready to have fun and, and to enjoy the summer, okay? Those of you who are in the US, you're really ready to enjoy this this summer. And yeah, I just see a, a lot of fun here. Also with that Knight of Cups, some of you might be meeting somebody. 
okay? You might be going on a date too while you're on this, this trip. So the trip isn't, I don't think the trip is gonna happen last week of June 2021, but I do think you're gonna buy the tickets for this. Do I think some of you might be that spontaneous that you're gonna just say, you know what, I'm gonna go, I need a trip, I need a break, and you're gonna buy the ticket and leave that same week? It's possible. Some of you might do that, but I do feel for some of you, you are gonna take your time uh, and you are going to plan this thing out to some extent. This is still really spontaneous for you, Capricorn, because this is a new place you've never been to, I feel. Or if you have been to it, it's been years since you've last gone. So it's not something you're really familiar with. Okay, the last time you've been to this place, if you have been to it, was only for a week or two. So it's not like you really know this place well. And you're, I feel that you are going by yourself. So while you're there, you do meet somebody, I'm saying, and... You take, I feel like, with that Seven of Swords, that ultimately you decide not to come back. But this is really, like, like, this is looking farther down. Like, this is foreseeing the future farther down the line. Um, so we're not gonna get into that unless they want me to talk more about that. But we are going to see any final messages and, oh, yeah, King of Wands. You meet somebody in this new place you decide to move to you meet somebody capricorn those of you my single capricorn you meet somebody with that knight of cups and that king of wands an authority figure definitely somebody that has their shit together and is well established in that area yeah ten of wands you you make a journey you you take off you take off, I love when this happens, when the tarot just reaffirms what I, I've been feeling. Again, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everybody, but for those of you that does, this is your message, okay? You have the Ten of Wands, clear as day. She's packed up and she's making a move. And Capricorn, that's what I see, you're, you're gonna plan to do this. And with the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit is saying, it's going to work out. It's going to work in your favor. So the final week of June, you're going to make a huge decision buying these tickets, okay? These train tickets, these airplane tickets, the bus tickets, whatever it may be. This, this trip that you take literally changes your life forever. And like I said, with that Tree of Life there, you're moving to the next stage. You're moving to the next stage because you're ready for it. You're ready, okay? You, you, you've done the work. One final card. Two of Pentacles, yeah. So balance, 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 balance. Making sure you balance yourself and you don't get too caught up in your emotions in this situation, okay? I know it can seem really scary moving to a new place without anybody, but you can absolutely do it. You're ready for it. Okay, Spirit is sending you the opportunity. Spirit is wanting you to pursue this. Okay, with that Wheel of Fortune, the opportunity is there in that place. Okay, your love is there. There's a new connection there for you, Capricorn. So this trip that you've been wanting to do, because I feel that a lot of you have been wanting to do this, you definitely should pursue it. So now that we are done with Capricorn, we are moving on to Tauros. So my Tauros, hold on, I just gotta look at this, I feel like. We have the chariots in reverse. So uh, the last week of June, there could be issues with the car here. Um, we'll, we'll see what the other cards have to say. We have the queen of swords in reverse. And the palace of coins in reverse. So what I'm seeing here, Tauros, is definitely something with a, a potential with the car. I would get the car checked out because with the cherry in reverse, you're not going anywhere. Okay, this could be coming up the last week of June. I, I would just make sure that this is all cleared up, okay? Palace of coins and Queen of Swords in reverse. You might not be feeling like you're as financially stable. This, you know, that's the energy I'm getting here. You might feel like a, a lot of expenses are coming up all of a sudden, and it might be overwhelming for you, and it might be difficult for you to 
to manage this, okay, all of these expenses at once. With that Queen of Swords energy, it definitely feels to me also that there is some sort of uh, situation, for those of you that are single, uh, in terms of a relationship. Um, this person has been cold to you, but at the same time, they haven't been distant. They've been wanting to get in involved in your life in some way shape or form they've been wanting to check on on check up on you uh, kind of see your finances they've been kind of looking at where you work i feel um for some of you and so june last week of june it can be a little bit messy because this person's gonna want to uh, involve themselves in, in your life somehow yeah the ace of cups yeah this what I'm also seeing here is, uh, with the Ace of Cups reversed directly over to Chariots, I'm seeing here that uh, this uh, this connection, some of you might be talking to somebody or you might be on and off. I feel what they're saying here is that things are really not going to move anywhere with this person. So, I think they're going to make things more clear. Last week of June, we're definitely going to see this. Yeah, Ten of Wands... Page of Wands, oh, my Tauros, the Tower. <sighs> yeah, you guys are in, in uh, well, I don't want to put that energy out there, right? We can always try to remain positive with how things happen, but there's a fallout here with a connection, okay? Ace of Cups, the Tower, Page of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. There's definitely a fallout here with a connection. And for some of you, Tauros, you will be leaving your job last week of June. You will be walking away from your job. You will be walking away from this connection, okay? Um, the Page of Wands with the Queen of Swords there and the Tower. There's really no more passion or the relationship or this connection is completely one-sided. Um, and this person is looking towards what whatever you, you know, whatever resources you have to gain, okay? Um, because the Palace of Coins is there, and that Ten of Wands. You've been working very hard, Tauros, but I feel that you're at your breaking point, okay? You've, you've had quite enough of this job, this situation, and this connection, this on and off, the, the mind games that this person or these people are playing with you. And last week of June, I definitely see a lot of you, Tauros, having your breaking points. Having your breaking point with that tower, okay? It's going to be a shock to everybody. Um, and also, I feel that the car situation, like I was saying, for some of you, the car, uh, the car breaking apart and you not having enough money might be like your your breaking point where you're just done with with everybody, with the job, with this person who's been on and off and playing games with you. Um, yeah, this might just be your your moment where you really are just like screw screw everything <laughs> you know i i want to remain positive but this is what the cards are showing me of course it is a general reading so take what resonates leave everything else behind um the world yeah a new new beginning new beginning starts after this um yeah oh wow we got a lot okay so Four of Cups, the World, Four of Cups, Three of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. What I'm seeing here is definitely somebody new coming in towards end of June 2021. Um, it's just out of nowhere, but you have to understand something here is with that World card... I'm feeling like you you start fresh like you you do something new you start fresh you go somewhere else okay I'm definitely getting this vibe of you you've been so focused on your current situation that you're missing out There's definitely this energy of like missing out on what universe wants to gift you okay something so much better and it's like they're just like come over here with us like it's okay take our hands or, you know you've you've been in this situation long enough like let go take our hand and you're gonna be okay and you will you know i feel for a lot of you you've been holding yourself back because of money and i feel like that's why we see this ton of wands you've been really really working hard 
but it's like no matter how hard you work, you just can't get ahead in terms of your finances or you're not feeling like you're being paid what you're worth and Taurus, you like to stay rooted, okay? You are an earth sign. So change really isn't in your in your energy, right? You you and Virgo and Capricorn, you guys like to plan things. You like to make sure you know what's going on and you like to have an idea of the whole situation before you just jump right in. And Spirit is saying to just just let go, let go, you know, and we'll we'll take your hand, we'll catch you on the way down. Or, you know, some of you will grow your wings, right? As you fall on the way down, you'll grow your wings and you'll take flights. That's what they're saying to just it, it's gonna be okay, right? To to step into this new energy, okay, with that page of cups where you are creative and you are passionate and you are coming at life a much more gentler type of energy because I feel here you you can be a bit cold, okay? Because of all the, the crap that you're going through, you really don't want to put up with anybody else's crap. This is the energy I'm getting. With that Six of Pentacles, they're definitely saying that pursuing your dream and, and going after what you want. And definitely watch my All Signs video. It should be uploaded. Um, definitely watch that uh, because it really goes well. The main takeaway from that reading they're saying that you will absolutely be okay with the finances. There really isn't anything to worry about in terms of money. Um, you just have to believe in yourself and follow your hearts, okay? Um, but definitely going to reach your breaking points, a lot of you. And of June, the last week of June. Definitely going to reach your breaking points. And yeah, you have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You walk away. You walk away from this connection and possibly the job as well, Tauros. Um, yeah, you're you're really burnt out. You really are. With that Ten of Wands that was there. And you're just going to choose yourself. As scary as that may be. Because you are going to walk away from that career as well. I'm seeing. But they are saying it's gonna be okay if you walk away. It's gonna be okay. I feel for some of you, you are like you're not gonna have a choice in that situation. But some of you are gonna have choice. And Spirit is saying it's gonna be okay. Like you're gonna be fine. If you do walk away, you're gonna be okay. And so, you know, almost all of your spirit guides I feel are saying for you to walk away and to start fresh. But now we are going to move on to my Virgo. Hello, my beautiful Virgo. And we're starting off rough, okay? Um, your previous reading was a little bit too much. Okay, but we started off a little rocky, but things are going to definitely start to turn for the best, Virgo. Because you have somebody coming in here, final week of June, a lot of you. This could be you, okay? This could be you tapping into a higher state of consciousness. And literally by switching your thought pattern, you literally take flights. You take flights, okay? You reach a, a level of, li of level of living that other people cannot reach because you've changed your mindset. You altered how you think and how you perceive things. And because you do that, it brings on all this new stuff with that Ten of Cups that we're seeing here the family, the house with the picket fence, okay, marriage, right, kids, if that's what you want, the dog, the cats, whatever, but with that five of coins, there's definitely been a uh, concern over money, um, and Spirit is telling you that the money's right there, Virgo, you just have to tap into it, tap into your creativity, and because you are an earth sign, you do like to plan things, especially you, Virgo. You you love to plan things. You like to make sure you know what's going on and definitely not into like surprises and spontaneous behavior. Um, that definitely is not your, t your sort of thing. You really like to be rooted. Um, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Um, you definitely are about your money and you like to be rooted and you want to make sure you know what is going on. You want to make sure... Uh, that you budget, okay, and that you are handling your financial business. And Spirit is saying to just forget about all of that. 
<laughs> Spirit is like, just forget about all of that, Virgo. Just, just take that and throw it out. Okay, they're saying to obviously don't quit your job. I'm always gonna say that. Don't quit your job, but um, they're definitely saying to. <laughs> they're they're so funny you know they just because we're human and we live in this matrix we tend to look at things very black and white but our angels and ancestors they're like no no there are so many ways to look at this and what they're saying is for you to get more into the law of attraction and manifestation and to realize that you can create any amount of money you desire and that you don't need to have a set schedule work a structured job that you can absolutely pursue your passion and what you desire um and as long as you believe in yourself and you put in the work every day or even three or four times a week you will absolutely reach success because you have that strategic mind your mind is very meticulous so even though you're not working you you know even though you you get to that place where you're not working and you are pursuing your passion eventually the money does come in and part of the reason you've been so hesitant i think in going forward with pursuing dreams and aspirations is because again you naturally you are an earth sign and you like to stay rooted you like to stay grounded and like i was saying virgo especially does not like a huge change uh, or spontaneous behavior um you like to be rooted okay yeah queen of cups very in tune with your emotions and um but yeah that ten of swords very in tune with your emotions and, and very structured in your mind but with that ten of swords this is really uh come june the last week of june this is really going to start to be a burden for you that's why they're saying to throw all of that out those those ideas and those concepts because even though you might see yourself as like getting somewhere even though you feel that you're not getting paid what you're worth what the angels and spirit is saying that you're you're basically destroying yourself you're basically destroying yourself you you're not that that's the energy it's like you're not where you should be and i remember in a previous reading i i said you're not uh for a lot of you virgos i said you're not here to work a regular job i remember that i don't know if it was june or may it was one or the other it was in the preview so if you search up the virgo videos and you watch in the first 30 seconds to preview i'm pretty sure i put it in there I think it was the May one, now that I remember it. I believe it was the May one, uh, where I said, you, you're you not here to work a regular 9 to 5 job. And we're seeing more of this coming up. We're seeing spirits wanting to bring this message up again. Yeah, it's going to take strength for you to make this, initiate this change. It's up to you. Page of Wands. You might be dealing with somebody, Virgo. Somebody that is... They're, they're kind of a monkey on your back. They're not really uh, bringing you to where you should be. Yeah, it just, it just feels like last week of June, the energy I'm getting here is very back and forth. Like you're you're reaching like this breakthrough. This this really feels like a climax, honestly, of, of the movie, of, of the story, okay, of the book. Definitely feels like we're reaching the climax here, Virgo, um, because your, your mind is starting to like, you know what, maybe it, it would be better to pursue this, even though I might not get paid right away, even though I might not make enough right away, even though I'm not going to be in full control of that situation, maybe it might be better to pursue something else than this current career, this current energy that I'm in. Um, and, and this is really huge for you, because like I said, you're super structured. You, you like to plan everything and make sure... Yeah, the sun. You like to plan everything and make sure, you know, you know what's going on, at least to some degree. And quitting your job and moving somewhere new where you don't know anything is, is, is not in your character. It's not really how you are. So it's completely against your nature. 
Um, what I get here last week of June is you're going to reach the breaking point. Part of that is you looking back on your childhood and remembering certain things from parents, grandparents, uh, uncles, aunts, certain things that you carried on from them that ideally weren't that great. Um, and you just realizing, hold on, like, that's what they would do. I feel like you're going to notice a pattern with your life. This last week of June, you're going to have a huge realization, a huge, this is what we would call an awakening. And you're going to have a huge realization of, like, you're going to start to see that maybe you've carried stuff on from your childhood because you're going to notice, wait a minute, certain aspects of my life are really similar to my parents or to those aunts or to those uncles or to those cousins that I really don't, I didn't really agree with their life, but my life is sort of starting to look similar to theirs. And it's going to be like this, like the light bulb goes off in your head. You're like, holy crap. And I feel like it's a huge awakening moment and you, you break, you break with that two of pentacles. You're like back and forth, back and forth. Should I pursue this idea up here or should I just continue working and and you know having a structured routine and and you're very like i i you you like i said this is the climax i virgo i feel you you do it you do it last week of june you break yourself free somebody comes in to offer you support somebody comes in it might be you know a spirit guide it might be an angel you know for some of you, I feel like it could be Archangel Michael coming in. Some something, some sort of divine being comes in, okay? A male. And, uh, he, you know, very beautiful, very handsome. And he looks at you with his bright eyes. And he says, Virgo, you're ready. You're ready for it, okay? You're, you're ready to do this. You're ready to, to follow your true path, your true purpose. And... Yeah, it just, it's like an earthquake and everything's shaking and your whole world, you feel like your whole world is going to fall apart. Um, but yeah, so, so much going on for you last week of June mentally. And I really feel like you're, you're, you know, this is part of your awakening. It's part of your consciousness ascending and this is you really like getting into this energy of like liberation and freedom and just spontaneous living a spontaneous life and of, of course you're always going to have li little bits and pieces of you know planning and making sure things are in order right but you're going to be more relaxed and i think that's what they that's what they're going to push on you it's a life lesson they want you to become more lax and to not feel like you always have to be in control of everything but to just believe and have faith okay a really beautiful a really deep really deep virgo really deep spiritual message they they want you to learn in this lifetime so that is your reading. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and I wish you guys love and light. Take care.